Hello everyone. Well, I figured I would do something completely different. Being a total nerd and slightly autistic, of course I'm into Minecraft a little bit. Nothing really serious. Certainly nothing as good as other people I've seen on YouTube. Uh, but I figured I'd give you a little bit of a tour of what I've been able to achieve so far, at least in this game. I had a previous uh, game going a few months ago, but of course my file was corrupted, so I lost everything. I had a couple houses that I had built and a couple mines that I had that uh, I was starting to produce diamond out of so it was really not a good time to lose the file but anyway here's the uh, house that I've well I don't know if you want to call it a house it's more of a hole I've dug into a hillside and uh, put my stuff in uh, I've been expanding it a little bit uh, but uh, it's sufficient for what I need for the moment crafting table oven or furnace they're calling it um, and of course a large chest which is nearly full so I'm gonna have to build another one pretty soon just lots of crap that I've been accruing so far I chose this site um, after a while of just wandering through nowhere you know trying in vain to um, find the place that I had left before after I had died in an unfortunate encounter with a creeper um, so I chose this area because, number one, this was a secluded area uh, down in a little valley here, um, pretty safe from anything. And number two, the tremendous environmental diversity I have going on here. Um, really, I'm within easy walking distance to like three or four distinct types of environment, and uh, really, I've been able to uh, harvest a lot of resources. Over here I've got a you know heavily wooded area with um, there are some sheep that like to graze in this area around here uh, which is useful for the wool. Uh, coming through to where I've uh, you know basically blasted my house out of the hillside here. Um, I've got this um, tower on top of the uh, house. Eventually my house will probably have a second floor around this area. Uh, I have to level the ground significantly to do that. Um, but I've built this tower. This is a locator beacon, so in case I wander too far away and I lose my bearings, I can look around and find this thing. Also, it comes in handy as a good little um, lookout perch. Uh, that's why I've left the ladders up here. I used them during the uh, construction and uh, figured I'd leave them. Torch up here so I could uh, find it at night. Uh, but up here you can really have a look at uh, the environmental diversity I've got in this site so which is really why I picked it because I mean I've got all the sand I could ever want uh, you know so I can make glass and things like that um, for when I start to build better houses over here I've got an alpine area with snow and tall trees um, and also um, pigs as you can see there they like to graze around there I don't know why pigs can't eat snow um, back into the wooded area I showed you before um, very deep chasms and uh, canyons in this area so I really do have to be careful when I'm going through there. I've modified the land a bit right where you can see the um, crosshair. I've built a little uh, grass fence so I don't accidentally wander into that very deep hole and most likely I'd be killed and if I weren't killed I'd have no way to get out of it. Um, and uh, around here the river sort of continues back into the alpine area and if we go beyond the desert here um, there's a jungle, or rainforest, whatever they want to call it. I haven't really explored that area yet, but uh, it's certainly intriguing. So my house itself is very simple. I'm going to take a little bit of damage coming down here, but I've turned it to peaceful mode for this video, so uh, I'm going to recover very quickly. These saplings aren't going to sprout here, are they? I planted them a couple days ago in-game, and they haven't done anything. The ones I've planted over there, however, have worked, as you can see. I've cut one of them down already. But it's great. You just start planting trees, and uh, all of a sudden, you're able to uh, sustain yourself. I have a mine shaft running through here, right here, where I put the sapling. I knew it wasn't going to grow there, but I put it there to mark it, just so I had some sort of visual reference to find it again, because, as you can see, everything looks very similar out here. Uh, so down the mine shaft, I've got a ladder in place, so it's just a matter of backing into it and going down. I know you don't have to go down ladders this way, but it helps to see where you're going. Uh, I've got one offshoot tunnel right there. We'll explore that in a bit. And the shaft goes all the way down to here, and you hear that noise. I don't know if it's water or lava I'm coming down to, but uh, I don't want to find out the hard way. 
and one of those oh so spooky noises that you hear. Um, actually, if it's nighttime in the game, it actually does frighten you a little bit. So we'll head down to that uh, tunnel. Here we are. Just dug it pretty much straight out of uh, the rock, and as you can see, some dirt and gravel mixed in in places. You know, just trying to keep it fairly well lit. Here I found a small vein of coal, uh, which I explored and uh, dug out the coal. And over here I found a small vein of iron, which I dug out, of course. And uh, the end of the tunnel right here. I don't have any torches with me, so... Well, I could make a couple torches, but I'm not going to burden you with uh, chiseling through rock and not finding anything. So basically, I've been using those trees to uh, run everything that I've needed. Oh, hold on a second. Looks like the tree has sprouted by the mine shaft of an entrance. How about that? That is the weirdest thing in the world. It's not looking very good. I will say that, uh, probably because it doesn't have a whole lot of water out here in the desert. And another one I planted because I was harvesting some sand from the uh, base of this, I guess for want of a better term, sand mountain. And, uh, well, I took out a couple of sand blocks here, and there was a pit that I couldn't see the bottom of. So I figured, uh, let me cover that up and plant a tree there so I know that there's something bad lurking in that area. Uh, back here, I, you know, I just got the urge to tunnel into the mountain a little bit. I haven't done anything. Didn't find anything either. And over here is the jungle area, which I've just barely started to explore. I'm not really sure everything that the jungle has to offer because uh, in my previous game I never found any uh, jungle areas. So apparently the game makes a distinction between you know, normal uh, oak or birch wood that you'd find in a forest and jungle wood, so whatever that's worth. Um, so yeah, thick vines. Things hanging all over the place. These trees are massively enormous. Um, you know, there they are. Some of the trees are the equivalent thickness of four normal tree trunks that you'd find in the forest over there. And there, hey, there's a beacon I have on top of my house. Um, so I mean, just tremendously huge. This is not one of them, but uh, you can see that the game makes a distinction between jungle wood and normal wood that you can get. And now the tree's too high for me to get. Um, but um, not really sure why. I don't think jungle wood has any different properties than uh, normal wood that you get from a forest. So, as much as that's worth. Let's see, what's our sunlight doing? Yeah, starting to get dark here. Once the sun goes behind the mountains there, it does start to get dark around here pretty quickly. So, I would want to be heading back in. Really not much else to show you. This is all I've been able to accomplish up to this point. Some weird things going on with the draw distances here. I've got it set to a maximum detail and uh, to draw as far as possible, but uh, the whole world just disappeared there for a moment. Hopefully it doesn't stay disappeared because I need to get back to my house, which is um, supposed to be right here. There we go. Oh, yes. Lagging. Lagging offline. Why? It's quite odd. Maybe if I run the other way, it'll figure itself out. No, it hasn't. I don't like that. And I'm not quite sure what to make of it, because I kind of need to get back into my house. Um, and as you can imagine, I'm a bit hesitant to just start jumping into nothingness. Okay, maybe it'll start to spawn itself as I move along. This isn't good. Really? There's my house. Got a bit disoriented with all of the missing earth. But, uh, yep. Here's the house. Still glitching a bit. Alright, we're back safely in the house. Uh, that was a bit, uh, ugly for a moment. As you can see, they call it jungle wood, so I'll put it with the other jungle wood blocks I have. Um, and really, 
nothing else. If you know what jungle wood specifically can be used for, let me know. I'd appreciate it. Other than that, I'm completely useless at Minecraft. I'm not really into it very much. I just play it every now and again. But, uh, just figured it'd be a change of pace and, uh, something that, uh, maybe I could get some constructive feedback on.